YouTube, this is Glitched Requiem with my uh, uh, talk and play video. This is a stag amplifier, 10GA, plugged with an MP3 player, an Eclipse M uh, MP3 with a 4GB hard drive. Uh, right now it's playing uh, some of my angel beats. As you can see through the crappy screen here, it's Storm Song. I can't play it on my violin. <sighs> Trying something here. See? Does not work on the MP3 setting. It goes up really loud. And this isn't even up on the uh, max yet. It's only up like 3 out of 30. It's okay volumed. If I play with my electric violin, it's a different story. Really, really loud. And uh, I'm gonna put it down first. Uh, stand. If I can put it there. Kind of dangerous right now on the edge of the table. Right now, this chord is completely different from uh, other amplifier chords. It has a standard guitar chord, you know, plug. Really, really crappy really unbalanced and there's the mic cord which is an mp3 adaption there's technically three uh, holes to plug in there's the line out which I plug in here with the amp there's a phone or no there's a mic right there or you can like record with it and there's a phone turn this on turn this on oh the phone is for the headphones earphones thing and it takes a 9 volt battery to power, which is difficult to open right now. 9 volt battery. And uh, volume and uh, tone knob. Really loud. Even if it's on its low setting. Maximum of violin. from Angel Beats. So right now this amp is uh, on its acoustic setting, or rather, everything's off. Treble, mid, and bass is all off. I have to turn the treble up to three, mid to two, and bass up to three as well. The D strings are a bit, a bit off as I explained in my previous video. Dominant string, other um, crappy factory strings, um, plays differently. Different sound. And now I'm gonna play the same thing as I did just earlier. Much more of a louder, more of a, I don't know, louder, more tone kind of sound. I'm just gonna turn this off and turn on gain. Gain is now on four. Sometimes it does sometimes it's kind of confusing. Well, that was welcome to the jungle. Uh, it's on game, really, kind of weird game. I can make some dubstep with this, but uh, moving the chair. Uh, technically, this violin is uh, really strange, to be exact. You know, the pickup is right there, different from a guitar pickup in some other violins.
there's your dubstep with the gain. If I tell them to uh, change the tone, it would be really different. A lot more sustained. If I turn the tone up, less sustained. It's more like a distortion kind of thing. Really crappy. More of a, an electric guitar kind of sound. Though this amp is made for uh, electric guitars. <coughs> Love this violin because you can carry like a handle. It's uh, similar to a Yamaha, even though it's probably copied off of one. But, um, well, there's a chord. It's based off usually the Yamaha 150, I guess, since it definitely does not look like a 130 or some other model. But, um, the first amplifier I used this on would be a Fender. The second would be a Squire and then a Fender. But, um, I've used this in a competition or rather a talent show before. Amazing instrument loud even though if I play it acoustically it wouldn't be very loud as I'll do right now I'm gonna play uh, Ave Maria which I've seen from uh, La Cora de Oro or rather just in a uh, really classical piece really terrible sounding kind of rubberish instrument sound sometimes it uh distorts or pops the amplifier uh, it's still connected so it's gonna sound really weird sometimes I'm just playing it you know practicing quietly and the amplifier still on Sometimes uh, you can like lightly hear it, just still playing. Weirdly, you know, no app is perfect. It has very light hiss if I turn it up to max. No hiss. Gain is on max. No hiss. Well, there's this like a uh, buzz static. Turn up treble. There's your pop. The louder I play, the more often it comes up. That was dangerous. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty good amplifier. For guitar use, though on Amazon, it said that it was like a really, well, a really quiet, easy to play without waking the neighbors. If I turn this up on max, it's definitely gonna like shatter this, you know, door right here. Because it's made of glass. Technically, yeah, obviously. But, um, really good instrument. Hold it like a handle. Wouldn't break as easy. That rattles from the cord. <sighs> really silent, though. I could play this in a classroom, at the back of that classroom in a really, really quiet classroom. Someone can hear me play. But then, you know, it won't really bother anyone else if they're just talking quietly like I am to the camera right now. See, here? You hear that rubbery sound? Terrible. Now, when I bring my acoustic over, no shoulder rest because my new instrument took the shoulder rest just now. No label. Got it off of eBay for 50 bucks. Flamed, I guess you can call it. Better sounding. Loud. Really loud. <clears throat> this instrument. Might not be made of maple wood, might have been made by, uh, with
just standard plywood or some other kind of wood but it looks sort of flamed but technically it's not but you can still call it flamed because the sides kind of around the camera it look uh, a bit flamed to you but it's just gloss lacquer this has been uh, dulled through the years of use scratch beaten Cracked, great instrument. So, um, great amp, but terrible instrument. When I um, get enough from street performing, I'm going to buy a Roshan violin if I can, and a uh, a Yamaha 150 if I can. If not, then I'll just buy the um, the basic 130. Um, usually I play other pieces besides anime music based on uh, two cellos, professional uh, cello players from Croatia, really, really good players, and um, sometimes I play some pieces from Bryson Andres, which is also a street performer who, um, who usually performs in the San Francisco area, um, somewhere town square. And um, the ch cellos would usually play, well, they're on tour right now, I guess, Intuition, around the um, United States and some other parts. But uh, I'm planning to buy a Yamaha and a uh, Roshan carbon fiber violin. Total cost would be at about $1,900 in total, and I will need a bridge pickup if I can't get the Roshan violin, so... Well, no, if I can't get the Yamaha violin, I'll just buy a bridge pickup. Uh, beautiful instrument, but just not up to quality standards. It's already wearing off the paint, black metallic paint. And uh, really easy to get dirty. My acoustic isn't easy as, uh, isn't, bleh, sorry about that, isn't as easy to get dirty. And uh, this electric pickup box is breaking apart. There's cracks here, sorry, cracks here, and uh, I try to fix one of the screws in the back, back corner, right there, corner, and um, it just broke the, the threading, so good instrument of okay quality, but just not up to standards, uh, and thanks for watching, walking, no, damn it. I wonder how it stays at. Yeah. It's kind of like really sleepy kind of moment here. But um, it's a talk and play. So uh, my next video is going to be a anime song then. Thanks for watching.